Welcome to my views and news. Fourteenth uh, of May today. Uh, daily situation report we share with you from Sudan, uh, containing important developments of the last twenty-four hours. Uh, firstly, an update on talks on Sunday. Talks were due to start between uh, RSF and SA representatives in Saudi Arabia. Uh, did the talks start or not? And secondly, uh, Darfur, your western and southern Darfur zones are being seriously destabilized. Especially West Under 4, uh, Al Janina, day 3 of the ongoing clashes there. Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, a church was attacked in Umidrman a few hours ago. Both parties are accusing each other. Lastly, two battlefield updates for you. One from uh, Saukul Arabi, from where Rapid Support Force members have released a video, and the second one is from Halfayat al Maluk, crucial bridge over River Nile, which links uh, Umidrman with Bahri. Firstly, viewers, uh, today talks were due to resume between rapid support force representatives and Sudanese army representatives in Saudi Arabia. The two parties reached uh, an understanding a few days ago when on Thursday uh, they signed principles uh, declaration, declaration of principles showing their commitment to provision of humanitarian aid, protection of humanitarian workers uh, in Sudan, but no modalities uh, were finalized. So talks are now starting. Talks started today. Uh, second round of talks resumed today in Jeddah between the two sides. Uh, Saudi government confirmed the resumption of dialogue. This uh, second phase of talks is very crucial because in this round, agreement on modalities like uh, withdrawal of uh, fighters from areas where aid will be distributed or where aid will arrive uh, will be finalized. Uh, deployment of foreign tops to ensure protection of aid workers to protection of aid corridors uh, will also come under discussions. Only good thing is that the two parties are in talks. Intensity of fighting has decreased. Uh, yes, on the ground, uh, the fighting is not as intense as it was uh, a week ago. But we cannot say there is total calm. No, a strikes continuing, artillery strikes, uh, clashes as well. People dying uh, in central Khartoum, Bari, Umadarman, in Darfur. We have details for you from Darfur too. So, overall, uh, intensity of fighting has decreased. But it's not that uh, the two sides uh, are uh, progressing towards a ceasefire. No considerable uh, decrease in uh, the hostilities in Sudan and no uh, main battlefield advantage uh, held by uh, either of the two parties. Both parties are in control of positions uh, but overall situation volatile and there seems to be a stalemate. Now secondly, uh, there are four viewers where today is day three of fighting in Al Janina, West Darfur. And just a few minutes ago, we got a uh, report from Al Janina where uh, more than a dozen civilians uh, or fighters uh, were killed today. Rapid support forces issued a statement today confirming 20 deaths. 20 deaths and dozens of injured, according to RSF statement. Local sources say that number of deaths is unknown. 
they say that uh, it's difficult to verify how many have been killed, how many have been injured, but uh, in several neighborhoods, there were clashes between uh, militias. Fighting is not just between rapid support force and Sudanese armed forces, but fighting is taking ethnic turn there, which the case was there uh, years ago when Arab, non-Arab conflict there caused a huge destruction. Tens of thousands died back then in ethnic violence. Same is being seen again. Ethnic violence as well and involvement of rapid support forces and Sudanese army too. In Al Janina, several neighborhoods like Al Buhara, uh, Al Tawara, Al Tadamon, Al Majlis, Al Madaris. In all these neighborhoods, there was fighting today between rival militias. Infrastructure damaged, government buildings being uh, attacked, even mosques being attacked as well. And uh, no signs of any ceasefire so far. People are fleeing Al Janina, fleeing towards Chad mostly. Situation is becoming serious in Nayala too. Nayala, South Darfur, uh, where there has been relative calm in Nayala, Al Fashir, Al Fashir, North Darfur, Nayala, South Darfur. Relative calm there because of intervention by local elders. But reportedly now, rapid support force members are beefing up their uh, deployments in Al Nayala. Nayala. And they are now visible. Their movements are being witnessed by the people. New checkpoints are being set up by RSF fighters in some neighborhoods of Nayala. So, situation deteriorating in Darfur. Darfur, stronghold of uh, rapid support force, is still in a position to send supplies from Darfur through Kardofan towards Khartoum, supplies arriving. That is why uh, we cannot say that uh, uh, rapid support force is trapped in uh, Khartoum, Umidrawan, Bahri, no. No side has clear advantage in this war so far. Thirdly, viewers, both the parties today issued separate statements accusing each other of an attack on a church in Umidrawan. Rapid support force and Sudanese army issued separate statements. And by the way, whenever there is high profile death, whenever there is attack on uh, hospitals, attack on diplomats, the two parties accuse each other. Same again uh, happened today that the two parties issued separate statements saying that a church in Al Masalma neighborhood of Umidrman came under attack. The church was stormed by unknown fighters. The name of the church is Mary Jedgeris. Uh, unknown fighters stormed the church. Luckily, no casualties so far, but several worshippers were injured. Now, who stormed the church? We don't know. Separate statements by the two parties. Lastly, viewers, two developments from the battlefield. Hal uh, al Maluk. Who is in charge? Who is in control of the bridge? Last night, Sudanese army shared pictures from Hal uh, Fayyat al Maluk. And uh, the pictures are from western side of the bridge, reportedly. Rapid support force members are in control of eastern side. Overall situation is volatile along this bridge. So we cannot say which side is in full control of the bridge. Both sides have their deployments close to the bridge, which is a blow to Sudanese army. Because a few days ago, Sudanese army was in control of uh, uh, Al-Fatal Maluk Bridge. Secondly, 
Saukul Arbi Market from where Rapid Support Force members released a video today close to Sobal Hela. So RSF members are there to the south of uh, Khartoum Central. A clip for you from Saukul Arbi released by Rapid Support Force members today. So RSS, RSF is there in control of some places in Saukul Arbi reportedly. Why the clip from Saukul Arbi? Thank you for watching. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salam ala afdal al-Khalidullah Sayyidina Muhammadin alayhi afdal al-salatu wa salam Akhwanna nihna darin rud ala shayi'at inna amis talah video bi mawdu inna akhti naas fi suq al-Arabi biju bisalmu lena wa bimshu anihna al-aam fi suq al-Arabi lo fizu al-dairi ji salim lena aw inna akh bilbash 